What's going on guys? Bengal again here. Week 17 of the NFL season against the 5 and 10 Raiders. This should be a really, really easy game for us. We've been playing really well of late and our defense especially has taken a massive step up. It is an 87 overall defense, but they're playing like one of the best in the league. And that's, I think, a lot due in part to major, 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 and I, I can't stress this enough, major morale boosts. Amani Warawarie is playing plus three right now, for example, to an 87 overall, which boosts his man and zone coverage into the 90s. Braxton Turner's playing up plus three to an 82. And that is the case for so many different players. Richard Russell up to, Brian Davis up to, Russ Clemens up to. Dorian Tompkins and Deron Payne up to. The entire team is playing fantastically right now because we keep winning games and we keep playing really, really well. And it is just awesome to see. If you did not watch last episode, DeAndre Swift, I don't know how he did it, but he's got superstar X Factor. And you know what? He didn't accomplish the goal, but they gave it to him anyway. So if you're going to complain about that, you can't complain about Rashad Reese still having normal i'm not changing it manually but what i am doing is making him rb1 and we're going to try to get him a breakout challenge there's been a growing theory that he cannot get it as a backup so even though he's a starting slot and he's a starting third down running back maybe actually as a starting receiver he'll be able to to come in when we need him to and i gotta i gotta change this everything was changed well he'll come in and, and get a breakout opportunity so that is my main focus. I got to reorganize the depth chart. And uh, we have some upgrades there. I'll uh, let the CPU spend those. And we should be getting an upgrade for at least Cameron Ford after we do weekly strategy here. But let me just change the depth chart. Playoff picture currently has what? We are the three seed. Cowboys have the one. We're currently slated to play the Packers, which I would be fine with. The Packers, I don't think, have anything on us anymore. Uh, they don't have Aaron Rodgers, and that was a really big part of their success so i'm not really afraid of the packers cut to me losing to the packers in the playoffs if that were to happen but we are going to make the playoffs for the first time in franchise history it's season three and we have finally done enough to make it to the playoffs and i'm going to continue to upgrade our defensive coordinator traits here because let's do catching let's do catching because why because our defense has been playing so well so well so you know, I'm going to keep rocking with it. I'm going to keep doing that. And uh, scouting has been pretty disappointing so far, pretty lackluster. I don't really have a lot of players I'm super excited to potentially draft. And sometimes that's how it goes. Tyrone Wilbur, I still I think is going to be pretty unreal. But outside of that, they're just, there aren't a ton of players I'm super excited about right now. And I guess sometimes that's how it goes. And, uh, Scouting outside linebackers, there's just not a lot here. Of course, still have the old scouting because this is an old franchise file that we started, you know, week one of the game. So I, as much as I don't like the new scouting, I'm so glad we did not change. And, you know, it just it's just good to have the old version, at least for this game, while they still, you know, work out the, the kinks. And there will be tweaks made to scouting, I can promise you, going forward, promise you. So uh, hopefully it gets better in the near future. Let's go ahead and defend the deep pass. And then offensively, I think blitz counter with Von Miller works. Today was traded to the Rams. Craziness. But our game plan goal is going to be throw two plus touchdown passes. And Cameron Ford here and Braxton Turner, maybe two, will get upgraded for sure after training even with injury but hopefully they are not injured had too many injuries so far in practice no injuries defensively and offensively no injuries as well awesome to see we're gonna be at full strength going into this game against oakland or las vegas now what the against las vegas and we should look to beat up on them and uh you know what we have bj dickerson we have Richard, a.k.a. Dick Russell. And we've forgotten all about John Penasini. But man, this guy's the heart and soul, you know, that, that keeps this team erect and standing upright and playing great. Braxton Turner will do a skill point upgrade. Do we like Field General for him? I use her him a lot. Block shedding needs to be higher, but we'll do Field General. 
doesn't make him the primary scheme fit yet. Get plus two to man and zone, tackling and play rec goes up. Don't mind that. I don't use her in every play, so coverage going up is good. And then Cameron Ford, we're going to do slot here. Goes up to an 87 overall. Plus three man coverage. Is that into the 90s now? 92 with morale. But it's going to be playing in the 90s. And with 90 plus for what's his name? Amani Wurawari, eh? Yeah, guess what? We're going to have 90 plus for both boundary corners. So I'm going to be running some man coverage this game. Derek Carr taking the field here at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. Mm, it's Nevada. Mm, I don't fucking care what you think. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. that was it, There was just no need for that, huh? But uh, yeah, Allegiant Stadium, one of the better looking stadiums in the league now. Love the way this looks. But I would also love to walk in and destroy this Las Vegas team. Got to watch out for Henry Ruggs. Has a lot of speed. But so do we. That was a huge focus for us in the offseason. And we've got it. Because they were going for rugs right out the gate at Amani Uruwarie. And if I know one thing we have to do already, it's match up these corners by speed. Because this is going to be a huge mismatch as Hunter Renfro catches that ball underneath of Cameron Ford. And yeah, let's make that coaching adjustment right now by speed. I think Cameron Ford is the only corner who stands a chance of running with Henry Ruggs. So we got to make that happen. Run up the middle. Okay, that's a lot of space. Broken tackle. Broken tackle. Josh Jacobs is going to be a problem, clearly. Yeah, he's good. He's definitely good. But it's really good to have Braxton Turner back. He missed last week with an injury. Quad or back strain. Something like that. Either way, he did not play. And it's going to be good to have him back. As Josh Jacobs is just content with breaking every tackle so far. Get back! Okay, that's a probably best case scenario there. There were some open things down the field. Carr just opted not to take him. Also, uh, it should be said that uh, Eric Hudson has earned some more playing time. So you will see him, I think, a lot more in games. His car is going to throw this one deep and away. Ryan Davis making a good effort for that one. Well out of bounds. Like Eric Hudson, we're going to switch here to have him in man coverage. As pressure, Derek Carr goes down. That's Dorian Tompkins rushing from another side. Usually our right end on our 3-4 defensive front. Now at left end, switching with Deshaun Hand. Did that at the end of last episode, I believe. Didn't watch the end of the episode. You always should. Because there's, there's some stuff that goes on there that will provide some context and light on the future episodes. But really good drive from uh, the defense to limit what... The, uh, the Raiders were capable of there. And it's first and 10. We're going to start out with a screen to the rookie, Richie Owens. Not really a great juke, but we get three yards. About the minimum of probably what we'd want there on first down. The absolute minimum. See Rashad Reese back in the backfield. Good to have him there. We missed him. Trying to go for a superstar X-Factor with DeAndre Swift. But the X-Factor for this offense is Rashad Reese. Goes without saying. I mean, you guys say that I force feed him sometimes. But uh, he's one of the best players on this team, if not the best player on offense. So, yeah, we're going to throw it to him a little bit. So he finds Tyrell Williams on the backside dig. Second and four. Also, it'd be nice to have Rashad Reese go off this game. Tight window ball and intercepted. Forced it. Forced it. Uh, I've been getting so good at not throwing those and making these bad decisions, but just forced the ball in there into pick six by Las Vegas. Man, uh, that didn't need to happen. Totally forced the ball in there. No bones about it. I'm trying to get Rashad Reese to get a breakout challenge, but uh, I certainly forced it in there. No excuses, just a mistake. I will throw some interceptions. We all know this, but I've been much better in recent weeks. Oh, what a throw. What a throw. Back foot from Paul Garrison, and he finds Chris Godwin. I'm not even sure if he had a catch last game. He just wasn't the focus point. Wasn't the focal point of the offense at all. Didn't focus on him. We're going to run the ball here to Rashad Reese. And uh, it's just a good cutback. His speed is just next level. As JC Treader goes down. Got injured last game and happens again here. Also, it's so weird to have Rashad Reese be the starting running back now. 
I don't know, like, you know, if this is going to continue long term. It's probably a spot where I prefer to have DeAndre Swift in. Torn Labrum. Oh, man. The rookie center, George Guerrero, is going to step in instead. That is a major loss. That's a player that we will likely not have for the playoffs now. That's really, really unfortunate. I wanted the check down. We're going to roll out. Be faster, Paul. Let's go. Paul Garrison. Down to the one. Vanilla Vic. Merch link in description. Recording back-to-back -back episodes. Uh, don't worry, not wearing the same thing two days in a row. Not that I wouldn't. I don't care. But uh, <laughs> I'm not. Not in this case. We're stopping Rashad Reese. TJ Hawkinson, by the way, nine yards away from 1K on the season. You would think that Rashad Reese probably has the most yards. It's actually not the case. I got to throw that away. They're going to call that intentional grounding. Was I not out of the tackle box? Were there not receivers in the area? Ah, this feels like a really bad call. It feels like a really, really bad call. What does it have to be to be intentional grounding? What does it have to be? Inside the tackle box, no receivers in the area, doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Let's see this. So, in the tackle box, which means there has to be a receiver in the area, right? Is that not what that is? It's a really, really, really bad intentional grounding because it's not intentional grounding. That's the biggest thing there. It just isn't. Also, I can't just get TJ vertical. He's got to go around. I'm going to throw it to him. High point. TJ can't go up and get it. We're going to have to settle for a field goal try. And they nearly blocked that. We're on the board, though. Down by four. Uh, got to be better. Got to be better. Two not great drives here to start the game from us. So run, it is. Oh, nice play. It's Deron Payne. Upgraded his block shedding in the last episode. With morale, it might be playing into the 90s, and he makes an incredible play on that one. Really, really good in run D. Second and 11 now. Got Anthony Walker in here. Let's play action. Get after the quarterback. And that's just complete to the speedy Ruggs. Big hit, Davidson. Ruggs not going to put the football on the ground. He's almost got 1,000 yards on the season. Good for him. Another run. He's going to take it up the middle. Turner got redirected. And Josh Jacobs is just a force to be reckoned with. But look at Dorian Tompkins. Lined up. 3-4 defensive end. Interior defensive lineman. Making a tackle 10 yards down the field. Tough to find that type of effort. That's got to be an interception. Uh, you got to put your hands up, BJ Dickerson. No career interceptions for him. It is only year one. But it's a full season with no picks. For the starting strong safety. He's just got to put his hands up. Make a play. Just a little check down there. Uruwari, a nice tackle. It's another run. It's play action. Trying to get over there. And down goes Carr. Facing pressure from the inside linebacker. And Anthony Walker Jr. registers a sack. Pretty rare occurrence there. But he got it. Man coverage across the field. There's no way Carr doesn't get sack. sacked. <laughs> Had an ED on the end because I suffer from it. Brian Davis, big play. Third and 28. Carr going to be sacked again. Russ Clemens and Dorian Tompkins got home. And it'll be fourth and 42 for Las Vegas. They don't have an offensive line. And my stacked defensive line is really showing them the D in D-line. Good spin back from Reese. He's holding the football like Michael Vick. Rashad, please. Not Rashad Reese. Rashad, please. Do not hold the football out wide like LaShawn McCoy when you're running. Second and five. Can I throw that to Thomas? In theory, I, I, it's a good throw. But there's no way to say, hey, make that a back shoulder throw. Maybe with a low ball? I really don't know. It looks like there's space and we just can't find it. That's open. TJ Hawkinson will officially be over a thousand yards for the year. He's having a great season. He's a really, really good player. Love to have him. Play action. A little touch pass. Godwin on the sideline. Got the feed in. 
great throw, great sideline awareness, body control, hands, footwork, everything you can talk about on a play like that by Chris Godwin. Really, really great stuff. We slot fade. This is a Godwin shot at the end zone. We're going to try and fit that in. Godwin, just buy him. That's why we pay you. Chris Godwin, go up and get it. Great catch. Got a little bit aggressive there, but guess what? It works out. We're going to give the ball to Rashad Reese. Find the end zone, little man. Find the end zone. It's a good carry. Showcasing some power there. This is where DeAndre Swift really should be in the game and usually would be. But for this game, it is Rashad Reese treating him as RB1. Second and five. You got to get off that block, Frank. Frank Ragnar is just staying. Combo block, climb. That's what you want to do as an offensive lineman. On a play like that, combo, climb. Get to the backers. Run up the middle. Rashad Reese, touchdown. All right, TD number one for him. He hopefully should get a lot this game. Yeah, you can take a selfie in the end zone. Commemorate that moment. It's a big one. Tenth touchdown on the ground for the year for Rashad Reese. That's a big one. Throw outside. Look at him, Money Roar Warrior. Jump the route. He is the best ball hawk in the NFL right now. And with 90 plus man end zone and superstar X Factor, he's going to make these types of plays. You try to throw underneath at Amani Uruwarie, you will pay for it. Acrobat, too. I mean, <laughs> he's just unbelievable, man. That might be 14 interceptions on the season for Amani Uruwarie. Now, I know Dick Lane had 14 in a season as a rookie, I believe, and that is the current record. I don't know what to do about it. I mean, clearly we're not seeing a bunch of guys get a ton of interceptions, but Amani, Amani Warawarie is. He has 14 interceptions, I believe, which would tie the all-time record for interceptions in a season. Granted, it's an extra game, but an unbelievable season from a player that was getting torched at the start of the year. The downgrade, if you will, to CB2, to have Cameron Ford be our, our CB1, has been immense. Third and three. They're sagging off. We're going to TJ Hawkinson. And the whip route just totally took the boundary corner out of the play. I guess it's a field corner there. Uh, field is like from opposite hash over. If you're on left hash, the field corner is the boundary on the right side, right? From where we are. And the boundary is the corner on the left side. So sometimes I will refer to them by those names. But uh, they are boundary, the outside players. I'm going to throw that. Man! Kingsley Kiki gets home. I was looking for Godwin, man. Just couldn't get it to him. We got a double move from TJ Hawkinson. Ah, that's a pick. That's a pick. Gah, man. Got baited. Got baited into it. Didn't even see him until it was too late. Carl Joseph playing like freaking Jarius Bird. Second pick of the game. I can't remember the last time that happened, but it's been a while. Man, that's, that's brutal for me. And this is going to be a huge run. Josh Jacobs is fast. B.J. Dickerson's the only one that can save a touchdown. But Derek Davidson dives at his ankles and makes the tackle. Elite speed and hustle. But, man, what a bad stretch this has been for us. Braxton Turner just nearly ended Hunter Renfro's career. Ooh. Hold on. This is not good. This is not good because now we have Hunter Renfro... I mean, we sent zero blitz. Yeah, we just banked on them not uh, having freaking like four or five receivers out there. Couldn't get home in time. First and goal. Going end zone, and it's a touchdown at Amani Uruwarie. Who is that? Is that Auden Tate? Didn't really get a good look at the name. 57 seconds remain in the half. I nearly just threw my third pick. Jeez. What's going on with me this game? Second and ten. I think Reese is open enough, right? Let's get out of bounds. That's not out of bounds? I needed to call a timeout there, and I didn't. Third and three. You know, maybe it's best that we didn't, in case we don't get this. Going outside again. Reese just has the speed. Got out of bounds that time. We got wheels all over the field. They're blitzing. Garrison put the football on the ground. It's recovered by Las Vegas. And Cleveland Furrell has a touchdown. What is happening to me this game, man? You know what it is? 
my philosophy has changed. It's really been over the past two games. I've stopped doing what's been successful. Garrison now has three turnovers in the first half. Could even be more. And I'm trying to be too focused around one player instead of the rest of the team where things gel better and uh, it's just hurting us a lot. We can't be too focused on one player. The whole reason Rashad Reese is so good because it flows so naturally. I will say this is good garbage time yardage for Rashad Reese who I'm trying to get to have a, a breakout challenge. We're lobbing it up. We have Reese down the sideline. Speed from Reese. He's gone. Touchdown as time expires in the first half. I mean, what a ball from Paul Garrison. No awareness from the DB. I mean, he is back turned. He shouldn't have been in position to make this play, but completely turned around. Too focused on Richie Owens and Rashad Reese scores a massive touchdown to end the first half. It does not get better than that, ladies and gentlemen. It does not get better than that. But we are right back in this game. What a way to end the second quarter and half number one. We'll get the football to start half number two as well. Richie Owens back to return. Two touchdowns for Rashad Reese in that first half. Really not a bad game. And we're trying to initiate a breakout challenge. So we are kind of forcing the ball to him a little bit. But it worked out on that occasion. Just gave him a chance and uh, worked out really, really well. Starting out with a screen. Just be faster. Just be faster than everybody else. <laughs> Third and four. Let's not focus on one player. Stepping up. Get out, Reese. Get out. I'm going to lob it to him. We got him. Rashad Reese down the field. Big catch. That's dangerous on third down, but we're going to trust him. And for good reason. Seven catches for 126 in this game. I don't know if he can really get upgraded as a uh, receiver. But he's certainly making big plays in the receiving game as we can't find Godwin. See, this play was not that effective with DeAndre Swift. But it should be with Rashad Reese because of his speed. Do need good blocking, of course. And we got it. Look at the speed of Rashad Reese. Our trucking is kind of a bold call, but it works out. Also, I love this play. Because the play action sets up the backers. Leaves a lot of space for Chris Godwin to be wide open. And Hawkinson's a pretty good check down, too. He's open. We just got to get rid of that. Let's go, TJ. Also, it's crazy. First game with Superstar X Factor for DeAndre Swift. And he... I don't even know if he's been in the game. But it has to be focused on Rashad Reese if we're going to initiate a breakout challenge. Good block to the outside. Reese. It's not quite fast enough. I don't know that anyone would be. We're just trying to force feed the ball a little bit too much. We're still down in this game. Underneath, Ian Thomas. Fight for it, Ian. It's down to the one. A field goal. A field goal does not give us the lead. What a field goal does, we're still losing, right? We're going to go for this. We're going to trust Rashad Reese and his speed. They've got a ton on the goal line. Just get to the outside. I mean, it's an easy, easy, easy touchdown. Rashad Reese, third touchdown of the game. Huge. We're going to take the lead there. I know the offense has been a little bit boring this game. Ah, maybe even not so much, but it's not as... I guess a uh, communist <laughs> with the shared wealth with uh, you know how I feel like how it usually is with Godwin and Hawkinson and Tyrell Williams and Richie Owens getting targets alongside Rashad Reese and DeAndre Swift but it's got to be this way because if he's not getting a breakout challenge after this game he, he ain't getting one Walker you gotta wrap up dude Huge tackle from B.J. Dickerson. Go with the legs. I mean, that's fine. To run up the middle. Richard Russell, big hit. Can't tackle him. Warrior helped out. Should go down as a tackle for loss. Man coverage. I'm against DeAndre, or not DeAndre, Darren Waller. Took that away perfectly, but Cameron Ford just not fast enough to keep up with Henry Ruggs. To run. Look at Braxton Turner. Heat-seeking missile. There's a flag. It's going to be a hold. It's got to be, right? Uh, we're probably going to decline this. And make this second and 11. I'm fine with the result on that. You know, first and 20. Maybe they make it second and 11. I think probably coaches decline there. But uh, I'm not going to. 
Second 11, we tackle Jacobs, and guess what? Now it's third and 12. Yeah, third and 12. All right, make a play. Third and 12, make a play. Derek Carr, can't make a play when Romeo Quar is breathing down your neck. Another sack for this defense. Fifth of the game, and Las Vegas will punt. Second and 10. I, 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 <laughs> uh, the reason I cannot make words right now is because I had pretty much already committed to check down, right? I worked left to right. Right as I decided to throw it, right? Like right as I'm throwing it. Rashad Reese would have been open if I could have just held the ball for a little while longer. And he would have been wide open. That, why is that like that? Oh, man. That's not a good third down. We had it. Classic me just backing up unnecessarily, by the way. You know what? Maybe it was warranted there. We had it. I, I thought he was coming across on a drag. And it run to the open space. Linebacker was coming down because of Reese in the flat. I expected him to keep running, and he didn't. I guess was it an option? Yeah, it was an option, but he chose the wrong option. Keep going. Read the room. Read the defense. Don't stop there. Is he not down? What, what do you call it when a player catches the ball on a return? The opposing team's player knocks into him and he falls down. I would call that a tackle. I'm not sure about you guys. I would call that a tackle. Apparently, those are subjective nowadays. Refs just love taking the game into their own hands as Jacobs on only 11 carries has 100 yards. Our defense has been so dominant in, in Rundy over the past several games. Uh, not this one. Get after him. Tompkins with another sack. Two and a half now on the game. So close to three, really. That's three PFF sacks. Over the middle, I mean, Davidson just got turned around. <laughs> Switched on and he just didn't animate for the ball. 10 sacks on the year, by the way, for Dorian Tompkins. It's great production from him. But it is a fresh set of downs for Las Vegas, trying to take the lead with the touchdown. Going outside, Dickerson just can't cover Darren Waller. Just can't do it. I do like man coverage, though. I'm going to trust the team to, to play well. It's just a little bit tougher. But Carr, again, has time. And that is a throw into quadruple coverage. And this is a long field goal. From the 45. Makes this a 55-yard field goal. Uh, it wasn't even close. I mean, that's one of the worst attempts I've probably ever seen. And he couldn't have been farther away if he tried play action get out D Reese I mean we have options downfield I just got to look downfield Richie Owens I was never looking downfield I was too consumed with Richie Owens not Richie Owens who caught that pass I was too consumed with Rashad Reese being literally trapped behind the offensive line the entire play <laughs> we had options down the field I just it was I didn't even see him Nice little run here. A nice little nine-yard gain. Two rushing touchdowns for Rashad Reese. Also, I see that same play. I'm going to make sure that's actually a shallow cross and not... Actually, let's run the ball. Look at that D-line. Okay, never mind. Where did you come from? I'll run it back. Actually, no, I won't. Yeah, I like the screen here. They're, they're sagging off too much. Chris Godwin on the RPO. Check it. Chris Godwin, big hit. First down. Not a good game, uh, good game from Paul Garrison so far. One touchdown and two interceptions, obviously, is going to stick out like a sore thumb. It's not, it's not good. I mean, I like, I like Godwin here. I think we have him. Great ball from Garrison. And it's a Rod God touchdown. Rod Christopher Godwin Jr., Gonna extend our lead to 10. Big way to go up late in the fourth quarter. 
It's been a close game, but I feel like we have left a lot of points and we haven't played our best defense despite having the high sack total. Throwing at Orwarie! And he got beat, but he actually managed to get the PBU. Stuck his hand in there. Orwarie is in the zone. I don't really want him on the running back. Feels like a waste. Saying over the middle and a throw away from Carr. This offense has not been particularly good so far today. I mean, Carr's thrown for 140 yards. Not particularly impressive. It says we've allowed 55 because uh, I guess they're counting in sack yardage. And that's going to be another sack. It's Dorian Thompson, or Tompkins again. Three and a half now on the game. And there's a flag. So most likely be declined. What? Illegal contact? Braxton Turner. I mean, what? They're going to say that right there. They're going to say that contact. Maybe on Darren Waller. I mean, what could the penalty have been there? Oh, that's ridiculous. And that's something that could lose us the game right there. That should be our ball. It should be guaranteed pretty much game over. They get BJ Dickerson. Lays the wood. Oh, that's a sick route. Oh, man. I got f so fooled. Thought it was just classic Texas, and no. What was that route? Oh, it was an option. That's why. That's how you play inside leverage. Second and five. Carr going to be facing pressure and will just wisely throw it away. Ooh, home team quarterback has trouble seeing deeper receivers. Bad time to be David Carr. Because he's a backup and out of the league for a while now. Uh, but Derek Carr, as he nearly throws an interception. <laughs> David Carr just slipped out, huh? All right, fourth and five. We're going man coverage. Alec Ingold is getting out. We're going to stay on him. Carr just heaving it up. Ruggs had a step. Ruggs had a step on Cameron Ford. Thankfully, the pass fall is incomplete. And we're in a really good position to end this thing. Although taking a shot and scoring points could guarantee it. It's just open. Richie Owens. The throw out a sack, though. Make sure we lose a yard. Rolling out. Check out the speed. And that is... Uh, <laughs> uh, it would have been sick. We were just a tad over the line there. Got the ball out a little bit too late. And we're sacked. I mean, longer developing routes. As Von Miller is on the Raiders now. I guess I didn't realize that this wasn't the Broncos we were playing. <laughs> uh, Von Miller is on the Raiders now in this. Damn. Uh, yeah, we were forced to have longer developing routes because it was third and super long. I mean, Amani Uruwarie stayed in the zone. The problem is that he's been on the running back the entire time. And I'm not really worried about Josh Jacobs beating me as a receiver as Carr is going to step up and throw it away. He had a lot of room to scramble. Chose not to. That's just a great throw. Oh, Cameron Ford. Way to get a hand in there and cause an incompletion. Running a lot of man coverage this game and it's worked out, you know, a decent bit of the time. Not every snap, clearly. Like, some of these routes are just too tough to cover. Unless I, like, know what it is. As Carr's facing pressure, Russ Clemens finally gets home. I guess he had half a sack earlier. But, uh, finally gets one of his own. And it's 4th and 24. We have 8 total sacks. I mean, I would boost up the, uh, CPU pass blocking. But it's not like this every game. I mean, we had no sacks against Lamar Jackson. And, uh, this particular offensive line is awful. As Amani Warwarie has officially, I believe, broken the record for interceptions in a season in NFL history. 15. Taking a deep shot. Or a warrior just, you know, basically stacked the receiver. Usually he's supposed to happen the other way and made a play on the ball. Great diving interception. Incredible play. Wow, that's an incredible pursuit. Uh, I tried to pitch it and get outside. Might try it to the other side now, but I mean, man. 
What a play by the defensive lineman. I didn't see who it was. But the get off on that was incredible. And uh, we will try this to the other side. I just trust the uh, speed of Rashad Reese. And if the, the blocking is decent. It's, that play is just not going to work right now. They're just all over it. It's going to set up third and long. I mean, we're forced to get into his. Oh, that was third down? I mean, we waste some time out. I thought that was second down. Just lost track of the downs. Tom Brady. The screen. I can't get out there. Amani Warriya got bulldozed, pancaked. Uh, they're going to need to move really, really fast. I just don't think they're capable of doing this. Oh, it's intercepted by Cameron Ford. First one in a while. That's what we call a dagger. Pick six to end it. Show him the football. Be disrespectful. Cameron Ford pick six. Maybe his third of the year. Jumped the route and uh, ended this game. Card is looking over the middle and Darren Waller could never get it. Great defense from Cameron Ford. And that got a little bit close showing Derek Carr the football he just gave away. That was mean. Sixth interception of the year for the rookie. What a season from him, too. We've had a lot of interceptions. Although it's really just been, it's been between those two players. So it's not like a ton of team interceptions. It's a decent bit, don't get me wrong. But it's really just in incredible numbers from two guys. Maybe 90 plus man coverage is... It's pretty good. <laughs> Maybe it's pretty good. I mean, our cornerback duo for the next, you know, few years. That's sick, that's sick for me. Uh, it should be pretty good. Trying to run with that, even though I'm in a QB spy and it's Russ Clemens again. I mean, our defense is just going ballistic right now. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Derek Carr is all day. We're not really blitzing many. Taking that away. I mean, he has all day. Finally throws it away. Can't afford to throw it away in that spot. Got to take a shot. 15 seconds remain in the game. You need a touchdown on this play to have a chance. And even then, you don't have a chance. So, just can't throw it away in that spot. Basically what it comes down to for me. Uh, that's super open. Derek Davidson got beat. Don't matter. Bad throw. A little make-believe stunt there. Lobbing it at Brian Davis, and he got mossed. Timeout, Las Vegas. Okay. Yeah, Brian Davis is not exactly known for his cover skills, but to be 6'4 and get mossed by 5'10 Hunter Renfro, not really a great look. Either way, any way you slice that, it's going to check down. Uh, touchdown, Josh Jacobs. Congrats, dude. You guys lost. That is your ball game. 38-28 is the final. Our defense really got after it. You just can't throw out an offensive line like they did and expect to compete. Paul Garrison, you know, uh, two interceptions is not what I wanted. 327 yards passing is nice. Rashad Reese only averaged three yards per carry. Three yards per carry is not good, in case you didn't know. Two touchdowns, though, and also had 126 yards receiving in a touchdown. So three total touchdowns, over 150 yards considerably, over 175 so maybe he gets something to trigger here. I'm not sure. Chris Godwin, six for 112 and a touchdown. But our defense was just crazy. Crazy good. Three tackles for loss for Tompkins and Clemens. Two for Uruwariye, Hudson, and Payne. One for a number of players. And then Sacks. We got after it. Two and a half from Tompkins. Two and a half for Clemens. One for Aquara, Davis, Walker, and Payne. And then two picks for Uruwariye. One for Cameron Ford. Uh, no forced fumbles, of course. And a touchdown for the rookie, number two overall, out of Virginia Tech, Cameron Ford. Also, the irony of John Gruden still being in the game with Justin Rohrwasser, a kicker. Something there. All right, so we should be back to a more regular offense for next week, unless Rashad Reese had a, a development upgrade opportunity, which I guess we would see at the end there. Probably do elusive back... I'd love to get a carrying boost in there. He goes up to an 88 overall with morale. Plus one speed? You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. 95 speed now for Rashad Reese. Plus two carrying, plus one break tackle. You shouldn't have given me plus one speed. That's a dangerous upgrade. 
Rashad Reese was already really, really good and really fast. Look at his change of direction. He's got 86 spectacular catches as well. This is a player we can throw the ball up to, believe it or not. Paul Garrison. I think I got to go field general. I'd love for deep accuracy to go up. Let's see here. 89 overall, plus three throw accuracy mid. That's good too. It's going to go up to a 97. And week 18 will be the final week of the season. JC Treader's a massive injury. We improved to 12 and 4. And there is no breakout challenge for Rashad Reese. So it's a little bit unfortunate. An upgrade for Amani Warawarie. I mean, he now has the record. Made the Pro Bowl, by the way. We can see that this week. We'll see who made the Pro Bowl. Defensive player of the week, and he has 15 interceptions. It's a record. Also gets a new ability slot. But he's not a good enough overall right now. Let's do slot. Let's try and get him plus one speed. That'd be really, really nice. Plus four awareness, plus one man, plus one tackle. Goes to 85 zone, 86 man to man. Here's what we're going to do. We get one step ahead. That's the 85 overall slot. Okay, well, we'll do that when we get there. For right now, we'll do a... Uh, I don't know. Let's do... Let's do bench press, maybe? And we'll really, really focus on... Um, on playing press man coverage. If we can get our cornerbacks to do that, I think we're going to be really, really tough to beat. So Uruwarie now has 92 man and zone playing up to. Zone Hawk, let's turn that into... Um, What should we do here? Shutdown? I mean, I guess. Yeah, let's do shutdown. And Cameron Ford has 92 man right now. Only 74 press, but 92 man. So maybe play some off man with him. I don't know, we'll see. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.